Hey, what's up guys? It's undeniable that Halo is a franchise with one of, or if not the biggest and greatest communities of all time. Although we are in a dry period right now and there's a lot of creatives out there that are on YouTube kind of straying away from Halo, uh, I wanna go full force into it and I really wanna keep this community alive and, and bring you some different perspectives and opinions that are positive. I've seen enough speculation that is negative. I've seen enough speculation that is downplaying the fact that this game is going to be absolutely incredible. And I wanna start by saying this. We have contractors, people that have been there for years, maybe a decade more, I'm not sure, but you have hardworking individuals, men and women, every single day waking up, wanting to create an experience beyond anything we've seen in one, two, three, reach, four and five, bigger than any game we've seen before. And that's admirable. And the fact that they have been building and creating this through a year such as this in 2020 with the quarantines and, and all the stay at home orders and, and, and all the crazy things that have just gone on this year. You have to give credit where credit is due. These people are ambitious. They improved MCC. They're improving Halo Infinite by delaying it. And yeah, it's probably rocky a little bit, but I guarantee you that this game is gonna come out swinging and that they're really gonna provide an experience that meets the best of all worlds. But you can't just rely on nostalgia. You have to evolve or else you die. And that's one of the most important things people need to realize going into Halo Infinite. The movements, the art style, the weaponry, the customizations, all of these things continuously need to change while, yes, holding on to a um, specific amount of nostalgia is great, but making the entire game like it was about a decade ago is a step backward, not a step forward. It may be a step forward for an individual, but a step backward for the community. The whole purpose of Halo Infinite is to be able to create a platform for 10 years where people can engage and create experiences much larger than they ever have before. That comes from the open world experience or the partly open world experience. That comes from the free to play multiplayer, bringing in friends that would have never given Halo a chance, but now get the opportunity to do so because the barrier of entry is so low. And lastly, when it comes to Forge, as a Forger, I am truly excited about what 10 years of Halo looks like, especially a one platform that mimics the style and the ambition of MCC because of the fact that that means creatives are gonna be so empowered to put out stuff that most likely is going to be evolved by the developer consistently over time instead of maybe only about a year or two for a game that comes out every couple of years. So I am incredibly empowered by hope of this game. I, I, I feel like this game is really gonna knock it out of the park. And I'd be bold enough to say that we're in the dry spell, yes, but right on the cusp of another Halo Golden Age. I really do believe that. I believe you're going to see more players than you ever have before on multiplayer, more people ever before playing your maps, more people ever before creating maps, more people ever before enjoying what the Halo universe has to provide. And for that reason, I'm excited. And for that reason, I'm not worried about all the minor things that we've heard, which is by the way, slim to none. And I'm very excited to see what the team at 343 actually does moving forward and how they go about the marketing. Because whether it's June around that time or it's holiday 2021, it's coming out this year from what they've said. And we have a lot to look forward to. So I just, would like to say, you know, one of the one of the quotes that I live by in life is that gratitude is the attitude to a life well lived. Instead of worrying about all the negative things that could happen with this game, be grateful for the fact that you have a community that, yes, has screwed up before in the past, right? I'm talking about 343, but has been ambitious enough and committed enough to be able to learn from those mistakes and build upon them in a positive momentum to bring you an experience that meets best of both worlds, the old Halo and the new Halo. 
combining them in a way that brings everyone together. That is a lot to look forward to and that is a lot to be grateful for. So remember that, gratitude is the attitude to a life well lived. And with that, hopefully you guys have a blessed day. If you like these videos, please leave a comment below. Uh, I could definitely make more of them. I just bought this mic, so I'm super psyched. I'm gonna be able to create a lot more content now that's not just specifically Forge, but everything will be surrounding that, that type of content. So leave the comments below, and I uh, will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace.